Alrighty. All right, well, this is the final test of the year endurance, man, here. The marathon is over. We're on to the uh, grand finals. This is going to be Link versus K9 Lucina. This is going to be Rex, the very finest of San Diego against K9. Definitely originally from AZ, moving back to SoCal. Yep, and it looks like he's starting off. He wants to try out the Lucina this time around. And, uh, button check. Yeah. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snack on a granola bar while we wait. <laughs> Yo, you got water in that flask? No, it's been empty, empty since winner's round two. Hey, yo, Strides, can you pass me that water? Yes, I'll, I'm going to drink that little bit of it. Give me that boost. Okay. All right. Well, anyways, button checks are in order. For those of you guys wondering, Rex is the best link in SoCal. He resides in San Diego. K9. Um, potentially, potentially. Who was the best link? It's all right, man. It's all right. It's all right. Some players got results. Just letting you know. But anyways. K9, you know, one of the best wolves out here in SoCal as well. He's been doing pretty good. Um, these two originally had a matchup in SoCal Chronicles at the beginning of the season, actually. And it's kind of funny how it comes full circle for them, right? Beginning of the season at SoCal Chronicles, these two faced off, and Rex got ninth at SoCal Chronicles. And K9 lost to Rex. And now we're here, literally towards the tail end of the SoCal Ultimate League season and the PR season. And they're here for the face off. And what better stage to be on Grand Finals here at MSM? But here we go. Let's see if the Lucina can bring something different to the table. Looks like Rex is uh, doing a good job so far, spacing out those aerials, waiting for K9 to come to him, wait for that defensive option because Lucina is so safe, and then get the grab onto his shield as soon as he lands on the ground. Wow! I'm telling you, man, that up out of shield looking, working like one of the excellent DPs that Link has. Yeah, but that entire sequence just waiting for him, jab, jab, then waited for him to try and get an option out, then went in, got his shield up, and waited for his fair, and then got an up the out of that. He just waited so long for K9 to elicit a reaction, even forcing him out of it with those jabs. Such a smart play from Rex altogether, but potentially off stage. Oh, and I don't know if that was intentional, but I was so godlike. It was, it was pretty good because of that situation on stage, right? He actually could have hit K9 off the ledge and it was worth going. Even if he also reversed it to would have hit K9 off the stage instead of an edge card face. Yeah. And we're seeing, we're seeing Rex uh, utilizing the interaction between bombs and the arrows. The spin attack once again, going to be able to take that stock. And great spacing from Rex too, because we even saw the jabs well spaced as well. Jab 3 has the longest range out of all three jabs, and is the fastest out of all of them. It lands with the downer and the boomerang even coming out showing signs. Yeah, I think he knew the boomerang was coming back, so he confirmed it to the dare. That's, that's what I'm saying, right? One one thing we've been seeing from Rex is he's always tossing out the boomerang because at one point, even if it misses, it'll eventually hit you and come back full circle. Gonna have to probably use the bomb jump here to recover there and missing the blast at the last second. Yeah. Look like uh, sometimes if you don't immediately downbeat, sometimes you're right outside of the bomb range. Unfortunate, but still, he's got a decent sized lead. 52% onto K9. Yeah, and it's also important to know that it's actually easier to go for the bomb jump if you actually still have your double. That's it's a little bit too low. Yeah, yeah it's gonna take it. Yeah, he just kind of put himself in an awkward situation at, without a jump, and uh, K9 could, took full advantage of that. All right, gets the boomerang into the up B, and immediately Rex almost tying it up, going for the arrow. This is Edgar by great parry, looking for spacing, coming out with the forward air. They definitely would have taken care of the stuff against K9 at the ledge. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a tough position. Looks like that up air covered the entire Pokemon Stadium 2 platform. That, that's just unfortunate. Oh, the fair! Yeah, he would have shield like poke. Sh yeah, looks like shield poke. Putting him really low, but he's not able to get anything out of it. Gonna go for Nairs, using that double jump to no avail. Actually, just meets K9 with a side B instead. Oh, nice, yep. great angle, the shield breaker. Yep, that does. And that'll it probably take unless he get the bomb jump. Yeah, he's able to get it. Oh, and the, the reverse. reversal. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, right? It's so good for going when you're trying to come back on the stage because if you're able to get the reverse, it's pretty good. All right. Oh, Down throw. Up tilt. Gonna continue that combo. Tries to extend it with that boomerang. Not gonna get anything though, but catches the miss tech on the other side of the platform. Nice. And just like that, I blinked. And he's at kill percent. Looking for the landing there. And I like it. Oh, this time Rex tosses the boomerang a little bit lower. Gets the shield. Both players roll, and he tries to respond back with that forward smash. Trying to see if Kano's gonna go for an out of shield option. 
How does he get back from the ledge? No. Oh, the neutral air. That will be able to do it. And K9 is going to take game one. Catching him on the jump there. And it's kind of one of those things that we do see from Max, right? Going for a lot of jump motion, going for a lot of jump forward air, jump there. And at that situation where it mattered the most, K9 was able to call it out with the neutral air. I have no idea. See. I was gonna say like, there's a rival is running around the whole venue. I think they're playing rock paper scissors. Yeah, I was gonna say. Are they having a mini tournament while they're waiting for grand finals? You know, man, that's why we have the switch, dude. You can just practice on the switch. Oh, Anyways. Alpha with the with the sub. Thanks so much. High back from Sedge and Vance. Yeah, pleasure to see you sub in Alpha. Hopefully, we'll get to see you soon at a, a local or any major. But let's go into it. We're gonna go ahead and go into Omega. Ice Club! <laughs> Interesting pick! I'm not gonna lie, uh, it's pretty good, but I respect the song choice in this stage. Yep. <laughs> wow, that forward smash. Okay, not quite gonna be able to do it yet, but still putting him in a good position. The pressure from the bomb, not gonna get that jump though. Okay, good knock air. Sets up the boomerang there, looking for a possible chase on that one, but he just backs off. I like what he tried to do there, use the bomb to be in basically two places at once, trying to cover both landings. <laughs> not quite gonna happen, but four tilt not happening either. But he gets that spot dodge to make sure Nate doesn't get reversal by K9. I see the forward air and I respect it because it could have shield pull, but at that situation, K9's shield is a little bit too healthy. That up be short of range, able to recover. And Rex kind of losing that one there. Yeah. I would have, like I'm saying, one thing that I'm seeing that Rex is not going for these Tomahawk grabs, not only that, oh, and the bomb goes so low. Let's we'll stop K9 not able to tech on that one. Yep. Unfortunate, we're not able to find it. That's why you see some links just throw it down because it can lead to a tech situation and more or less opponents are not really ready for that situation. Yeah, because you can mix up the timing on when you detonate the bomb. Mm -hmm. That's part of it too, so you can't preemptively do it either. So it makes it even more difficult to try and tech that situation. Forward air, Rex now using the boomerang to cover there. I like it using the retreating there, trying to buy himself some space, but also trying to also hit Kanan as well. Oh, he didn't believe in the F-Smash too. <laughs> Yeah, he held off for the second hand a little bit too long. Yeah, the story of every link thing, right? Yeah. You didn't believe. Oh, double forward air into the forward smash, and Rex was terrible with the eye on that one. Yeah, it looked like he... I don't know what happened. It looked like he was going to survive, and then all of a sudden he didn't. Good tech check, good tech option for Rex. Trying to go for another up yet a shield. Karen is kind of catching up to him on that one. And the forward smash putting Rex off the stage yet again. Bomb jump, able to recover, and using that last second here to go for a jump. Yeah, but great out of shield options from Lucina makes things difficult, even with the boomerang to protect them. The bear is just so fast. Tech situation. He's ready for it. Another one though. Sends up two off stage and Rex. K9 is just saucing on him, dude. Rex, wake up. Yo, he's gotta change that mask. He's gotta change it to Lucina mask. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's that wolf mask? Get it out of here. Oh yeah, what's that wolf mask, man? You look like a fraud out here. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, man. Kanan kind of saucing our Rex at this point, man. He needs to wake up. It's 12.24 in the morning at this point. Rex does not wake up, man. Kanan will get the bracket reset. And possibly even take it over Rex. Well, let's yeah. go into game three. Already, man. It's pretty been pretty fast. Let's see how this goes. Oh, okay, immediate shield grab. This is showing signs of what I've been talking about, right? Understanding what, what mix-ups are going to be going well. Sometimes Rex goes for forward air and he goes for neutral air. No Tomahawks. Yeah. No, he sometimes he won't even lead with the boomerang or go for a bomb bomb play. And those are two options that I feel that Rex needs to start considering. Tomahawk grabs and the bomb play. Even in the neutral. Let's see what the option is here. The patience here, trying to understand how Kanan's gonna go for the edge guard at the, the ledge. A B just to get him off of him. He got the pressure potentially, he got the four tilt. Good spacing coming out from Rex, and I like the fact that he dropped the bomb, waits for the gets the bounce here. Yeah, I like that. Uses that pressure from the bomb to make him drift away and then use the nair to push him off even more. Lucina can't recover. She's got the vertical recovery. It's horizontal if you stuff her in the air without a jump. She can't really make it back. Same deal as in melee with Mark. Two, two boomerangs. The third one. Man, he's putting it to overtime. Yeah, looking like Australia right here. Uh, that's a little that's a little mean, actually. I don't know how common it is there. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Just the core going to happen, though. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the jazz one more time. Wow, landing fair. Another situation. Oh, actually sweet spot the ledge though before it comes out. Okay, Rex, looking for an opportunity here. For the boomerang, looking for the forward air. I like it, spacing that forward tail at the ledge here. Trying to anticipate if Kina's gonna go and go for it. The bomb, using the boomerang to push it forward. I like that. He knows his bomb setups. 
Rex now go for the forward air. At that situation, K9 kind of just jumped over Rex for no, to no avail. Yeah. Now K9 hasn't touched Rex's uh, second stock. Looking and that like allows him to get the beam. Mm -hmm. But there we go. The, the one to use for it. There we go. Rex looks like he's uh, getting a little bit of a better handle on how K9 wants to space his fares and his neutral air staying right underneath, just staying right over it. Using yeah. those empty hops again and another mix up into the Nair spot dodge to catch the reversal. That's kind of one of those things, right? This high level play when you get to the grand finals at that situation. You want to start going for your mix up. You need to start pulling out all the stops because this is grand finals for a reason, right? Yeah. And him able to use that spot dodge into the up was super crucial because that's one move he actually hasn't been pulling out. It I can like. be a scrub tactic, but. When it matters the most, it can work, and that shield's so small. Yeah, oh, so I, thought that, I thought that was going to be it, but not quite going to be it. Excuse my tired language. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just realized my redundancy there. My bad. Okay, anyways, Rex getting that back air, putting him off stage one more time. Again, this bomb pressure is forcing K9 a different mix-up every time. Rex has almost got it down under control. He tries to control it with the dare. It's end his life, but it's not going to happen. And I like the fact that Rex went low this time. Oh, careful on that comeback on the roll. You might get caught, and that shield breaker was there to go ahead and let Rex know. Goes low. Oh, he went he, so low on that. <laughs> he could have gone for the reverse up B, or he could have gone for Nair, and that actually would have taken care of Kena in that situation. Oh, he uses up his double jump. How is he going to get back? He does not. The pressure from the boomerang setup, and he's going to get that up still. Yeah, and Rex finally with the point on the board. The score is 2 1 in, in K9 favor. Oh, man, he looks like Akuma from Street Fighter. <laughs> he's just sitting there meditating. Yeah. Good, but it's good. It's a, it shows signs of a strong player because a lot of players seem to lose their cool in situations like that. It's even though the coaching is bad, but you can coach yourself. Look at your faults. Look at your mistakes. Look at what you should be doing better. That's kind of one. And look at what your opponent is doing over you at that situation. That's what Kanan Nelson needs to understand. That's why we see him kind of calm. But let's go into game four. Rex finally putting a point on the board there. One thing he did a lot better is going for mix-ups. That's what it was here. That's kind of allowed Rex to get a point on the board. Right. The mix-up options. Not able to find a follow-up, just gets that shield out immediately. But at low percent, that's kind of the story of Smash Ultimate sometimes. Alright. <laughs> Can I kind of standing back a little bit and seeing how Rex has been playing with the boomerang? He nearly sends him off the stage already with 71%, and he almost gets hit by the counter. Yeah, just uh, enough space to navigate through. Didn't quite work out there. Finally yeah. gonna get a hit on him. Three hits on him with the up tilt. Gets that grab on the directional air dodge. Now he's got himself in a good position. Try and bring this back around. And gets that uh, forward air bomb pressure one more time. And he gets a boomerang. Oh, he really tried to call out that jump back away, but it's not work out. Oh, wow. Quick grab. Into the down air. Okay. <laughs> Almost gets hit by that forward smash. Yeah. Kept his jump and went inward on Pokemon Stadium 2. Very difficult to try and challenge that. Very smart from Rex, knowing that he didn't need to tech either. <laughs> Back throw into the boomerang. I like that he sends it up high and he could have got the trust. I like it. He's going to go for the reverse. Heals. Okay. He's going to take the first stock. Okay. Rex does with that spin attack. Rex yeah. sowing shines of a sec shines signs of a second life here. Yeah. At this point he needs to start making the adaptions like we said earlier. Mix ups, super crucial here. There's that Kena gets that forward air. A little bit of patience here at the ledge. I like it. Goes for the back air. Kena only able to parry one hit. He almost gets the pivot grab. That would have been really good for Rex, especially in terms of momentum into his favor. Yes, that there. Oh, the bomb to try and defend himself. Not quite gonna work, but he has to defend himself from that bounce of the bomb. Yeah. And that's the situation, right, that Rex is able to have a little bit here against K9. He's able to hold him and shoot for a second longer to get grabs, to get uh, to see panic options, out of shield options. Rex gets to test the waters with how K9 reacts, and that's what the projectiles are working for. Up throw? Oh, no. The link's too heavy, so probably not going to work. Okay, this situation, K9, a little bit too overzealous here at the ledge. He's been going for this forward air. So I kind of want to see him space out Rex here. Because at this situation, if he's getting on the stage, he needs to start catching how he gets on the stage and what he does when he lands. I'll uh, try to find a reversal, but Lucina has too much range, can just fade back on that and get that punish. I like that attempt, though, just because Rex was up as he did, like, at his third stock, so. There, yeah, but it's able to catch K9 on the landing there. 
the boomerang if Keenan comes back at it and he gets it in the boomerang taking a little bit of an extra hit. That was very smart. The boomerang was coming back. K9 was aware of it too, so he tried to jump away, and Rex was already there with the forwarder. A forced situation indeed. Goes for the boomerang, and again, good dash dancing. Rex putting it into play here. Sensing that forward air coming on the stage pretty hot from K9. Another one? And he went a little bit too low. And all of a sudden, he brought it back. I think he thought that the directional air dodge was going to snap the ledge. Yeah. He wouldn't have to worry about up being, but just a little too low. Good dash dash, and he almost gets that space forward tilt, but K9 able to get a couple up, up, I'm sorry, up tilts. That's the story of every link. If you're going for forward tilt, sometimes you're just going to get outspaced by a faster sword character. Yeah. And again, same play. Second verse, same as the first, but Rex not able to sing that one. Gets the back air. Rex setting the edge guard yet again here, trying to force out a situation. I like the fact that he went for a fadeaway neutral air and tried to catch him on the forward tilt. Oof! Almost caught it, but just not at the right time. Oh, okay. What? Rex, please. <laughs> All right, he's just able to roll through. I mean, I don't know. I feel like this man should have been dead a minute ago, but not quite going to happen. Guess that throw. Going to put him off stage one more time. The bomb setup. Clanks with the dolphin slash. Thought he could get the explosion. And he's trying to get that pressure with the forward air, but it's not working out. Kanai slowly inching his way back into the center stage. But he gets clipped by second hit of Nair. And we're going to game five and on he, this first And set. it looks to me like he actually fast followed that way. He was able to get the second hit of Nair. That's what Rex did a little bit differently. Instead of going for the full, the neutral, uh, the normal just forward air, he went for a fast follow forward air. It's a little second hit he was able to land. <laughs> now, Moving on to game five, Rex making the adaptations because a little bit earlier, man, he was getting sauced out here by K9's Lucina. Yeah. And we definitely see why K9 is going for the Lucina pick here. <laughs> he's not giving him the wolf because he knows Link can definitely edge guard wolf with all these projectiles he's got. He's got the bomb, the boomerang, and the arrows. <laughs> Did you see? Yeah, man, I'm both. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, first of all, Rex went for the fist bump on game five. K9 like slammed it and then he went like ouch afterwards. <laughs> Oh my god, the interaction between man, some of these football, players is S so funny. SD should have told him, man, like, hey, man, he gives him a hard fist bump. Yeah, he's like, he punches you, he cracks your knuckles, man. Bloody knuckles. So here we go, the spin attack. Keeps him off bay. Try to use that up for the juggle, but K9 doing a little bit better on spacing his landings this time around. Okay, I like it. Goes for the retreating boomerang there, trying to see how K9's gonna react. Good. This is what he was looking for the last time. He hasn't been able to hit it the past few games. But when it matters the most here in game five, it's starting to come out. Space forward, so it's got Kanan on the ropes and the bomb into play. Rex taking the first stock within the first 40 seconds of the game. It's like, all right, you're gonna bump my fist like that? I'm gonna go ahead and bump your, your, your stock Lucina like that, yeah. All the way across the stage. Great stuff altogether. All the. Oh, wow. Just staying in shield that entire time. The pressure from Rex. I feel like Kanan's a little bit scared in the shield. That and like it, it also happens to be a habit that some league mains have too as well. They like to go for spot dodge into like up B. And I felt that Kanan kind of saw how that tactic went out. The bomb was actually going to hit Link off the stage because he was a little bit too low. He might have gone on the wrong bomb drop. Yeah. Unfortunately for Rex, he didn't realize that the bomb was still there off stage. Not quite going to work out in his favor. Okay, goes for Boomerang. Checks for Kanan's options here. Now pushing oh. advantage at the, at the mini, he tries to go for boomerang, K9 swipes him away. Okay, that time the directional air dodge is going to connect, not going to get that boomerang, DI's outward. That's kind of one of those things about boomerang, you want to make sure you have space, that's what Rex needs to, uh, that's what he always does, right? High recovery there, able to barely survive. Wow, flash fall through the platform, that time K9 wasn't ready for it, but he's having a hard time making it back to center stage, he's got like a sliver of stage to work with, <laughs> K9 not giving him any room, but there we go, finally gets clipped by the back ears. Okay. A little bit off low, he tosses the boomerang, and he's able to not tech that situation. I'm very surprised he didn't tech that, actually. Yeah, it's it's pretty much a simple tech situation. Unfortunately, Rex not able to find it. Oh, okay, that's the first time I've seen Arrow connect after the boomerang. He finally went for that mix-up after a while. Oh, but nice. gonna get that grab, the pressure from the bomb, put him off stage, and that's it! We're going to a last stock situation here on first set. See who's going to send up home here earlier. Get a bracket reset here. There's the up tilt. Immediately shield sensing that forward because he knew uh, Kano was going to fall off of it. Okay, but here we go. This is that pressure covering a lot of space on that plane where he wants to go and get grounded again to try and pressure Rex, but it's not working out because of those projectiles. He has to be careful when he comes in for these arrows because Kano has been able to get him each and every time. And not only that, he has to be careful when he goes for boomerangs in situations like that because he will get caught by it. That's why Rex tries to make sure that he has spacing every time. Oh, the weak there. Not able to space into anything but the boomerang. Into another boomerang. Checks for the landing. I like it. 
Oh, the misspacing on the fair, not able to get anything. Both these two, they're in shield, they're very scared. They know that this is last stock on potential <laughs> game five uh, yeah. reset. And even though you see Rex in the lead here, K9, just a few swipes from the sword, that will definitely change it, especially with how Rex likes to approach with aerials. Oh man, and the percent is climbing. The dash attack, I don't know if that was intentional. He tried to catch up on the landing or something. Oh, but the jab's not going to connect. Four throw him off. Try to get that ledge control. No jump. Run off counter. Oh, oh he gets through. The last second, too. He just held it for one second action to make sure. Oh, he it so. up, and Rex takes it. He takes MSM 181 over K9. <laughs> All right, look, my chat has been going off this whole night.